Hey everybody, Daniel Rubino here with Windows 10 Channel. Today we're going to take a look at the Lumia 950 and Continuum with the display dock, which goes for an extra $99. Although if you pick up the 950XL, uh, some people should be able to get that for free. So uh, you can see it here. It's a very heavy device, by the way. Uh, it feels amazing for the build quality. Uh, I know some people thought maybe it'd be plastic or something, but it's actually uh, all brushed metal and it has weight to it. And um, the reason they do that actually, so it doesn't slide around on your desk with all these cables, I tell you, it does a very good job. It has rubber on the bottom to uh, make sure it doesn't skid either. But uh, exceptionally high quality device. You plug it into the AC outlet, uh, and then you can plug in your HDMI or display port in the back, and you have a few USB ports as well. And then you plug in the USB Type-C here, which will connect to the Lumia 950. Um, for our purposes here, we're using a Microsoft ergonomic keyboard and mouse. And we're using that wirelessly through the USB dongle. So you just plug that in here and it should all in theory work. We're also running this with a Dell 4K monitor. Now it's important to remember that the display dock only outputs 1080p. So uh, we're going to be scaling 1080p on a 4K monitor, which admittedly doesn't look amazing. But if you have a, a more normal monitor, it should look a lot better than ours. So let's take a look here. We're going to open the phone here. And so how you do this is uh, on the 950 and 950 XL, you're going to have an app called Continuum and you can launch that here. And it's going to give you two options. You're going to have the wired dock or wireless, wireless adapter. That wireless adapter is Miracast, and so you can use it with any Miracast TV or display. And if you don't have Miracast, you can buy an adapter. They're recommending one by Action Tech, which uh, gives them the best performance, but of course your mileage may vary. We're going to, of course, use wired here. So what we're going to do is we'll take our USB Type-C plug and we're going to plug it in here. This also charges the phone, which is pretty cool. And now we'll choose wired dock. And you can see it's already connecting up to the display. And there we go, it is now wired. I can also hit this little icon up here. And it's gonna bring down this as a touchpad. So now I can actually use this as a mouse if I don't have one. And uh, I've had uh, mixed results with this. Uh, wired, it works flawlessly. With the Action Tech from Miracast, it also works very well. So I mean that it's very smooth, there's no jittery. Uh, on my Roku, it also worked, but there was some lag there. So that's the difference with Miracast. But with plugged in, you can just use it and you can also use two finger scrolling. So as you can see, I'm scrolling through my menu there. If you're wondering why some of those apps are blacked out, that means that they're basically not ready to use in Continuum. Uh, and so you can see uh, Tweedium is one, the new Pandora app is one as well. In fact, I'm going to launch Pandora and you can see what the Pandora Universal app will look like when it actually gets released on desktop. Uh, this is why I know for a fact that this was a universal app. You can see it clearly runs uh, in full desktop mode. It's a very cool stuff. Now, if you want, you can go back down and continue, you know, basically moving through stuff here. If you want, there's also, of course, you can go to your other apps and I can go to search here. And now when, anytime you go into a text box, you'll see the keyboard pops up. And so I can type things like, I want to type in Word and I could bring that up, tap it and it'll launch that app. And you can see I was already writing. So while in Word, I can tap the screen again and you can see the keyboard pops up. So now I can just type on the display if I want to. Uh, let's see if I can find a spot here. We are typing. And of course, swipe works as well. So, and I spelled that wrong, but you get the idea. Now, if I don't want to, of course, use this, I can just put this down. The phone will continue to charge, and now I can just go and use my full mouse and keyboard. So this obviously is gonna be a lot more efficient. This is me typing on an ergo keyboard, which I absolutely love, by the way, and it works well. And this is a full Word uh, you know, program here that you're used to on Windows 10 desktop. Uh, obviously, it's not the Win32 version, but you get all the same features uh, that you can do, including insert pictures and link, comment, and more. So basically, it's a full app. Uh, when you move the mouse up to the corner here, you're going to see I get a minimize option, or I can close it out. Uh, there is no shrinking of windows, so it's one or the other. You can only have one app on the display at a time, but they can run in the background. So I can minimize this, and you can see I'm right back to Pandora. Likewise, I could, of course, use the multitasking feature in Windows 10 and switch my windows that way. I can easily hop between my apps, and everything is preserved. Uh, speed is pretty good. It's obviously not going to be a full uh, Core i7 CPU, but overall it works very well. I can then, of course, do Cortana and type in there. And I can even use the Hey, hey Cortana. 
What is the current weather? Right now, it's 53 and cloudy. So you can see that works as well. Uh, it's obviously a little bit of a delay there, but we are dealing with a lot of crazy technology. But uh, that does work. Uh, I can even give you a sneak peek here of the Windows Central Universal app. Uh, you can see it loading here on uh, our, so this is what's coming down the road. Still in works. We're getting close, folks. Don't worry. But uh, that is overall Continuum. It works very well for what it is. Uh, whether or not you're going to actually use it, of course, uh, is up to your usage scenarios. But these apps look really great. Here's the Photos app that fully scales up. And of course, now I could, say, pick up the video and just play. Overall, very neat experience. Microsoft has done a great job. We've had really no issues with this either. So Continuum is a very unique app and system for people, but if you're going to use it, it works really well. So it's definitely something to take a look at. Like I said, Display Dock, $99, works with the Lumia 950, 950 XL only. It doesn't work with older Lumias. You do need that dual display output that's capable in the phones. So there you go. Head to Windows Central for a full review of the Lumia 950 and tell us what you think. Take care, everybody.